I think I remember why I don't wear wigs. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Ambition Right. So, we'll be talking about this wig at the very, very end because I have some thoughts about it. And, um, yeah, just keep on watching. It's like I got this from Amazon just because if I hate it, it's an easier return than if I got it from the beauty supply store or like an online beauty supply store. So, and this is Martina in the color 1B. And it is a melted hairline. I don't know what that means. I have not been wearing wigs in such a long time. So I'm just like, mm, I don't know. So I like that it has the, what is this called? Elastic band. So it does have that. It has three combs as well, which is really good. I'm going to try not to use the combs though. Okay, so this texture feels like a perm. Like when back in the day when you used to get a perm. Okay, so I don't know if I need to do a wig cap, but I'm just going to put one on anyway. And I just moisturized my hair and did like really quick flat twists. I'm just going to push it back as far as I can, just because this color is not the color of my scalp, obviously. This wig cap did not come with the unit, by the way. I know some usually does. This did not. Okay, let's just see how this fits. And it still has the adjustable straps as well. I usually don't use those, so I'm just going to leave that on. I'm guessing this is the baby hairs. Yes, I think it does say baby hairs. So, so yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to do a wig cap because you can literally see it underneath and that's not cute. Alright, so now I'm going to put powder in the parting because this is way too light. Like, what is this? So, I have a powder foundation. My cover FX one in the color N110. I'm just going to put a little bit of that a little bit at a time is best. I'm going to start at the back in case this fails. <laughs> so I'm really just going like this. And I never really know how much to really cut so I feel like I may have cut too much off. I don't know. I'm not a wig expert so and my hairline is really different from wigs. It's always really different. See how my baby hairs are like peeking through? Like these are my real baby hairs. It's usually, that's usually what happens. <laughs> but this does have baby hair. So, I mean, we can either have mine peeking through or have this come more forward. I don't know if I'm liking this. I might have to have it behind. I also have a widow's peak, so that's also usually my issue too. I forgot how like hot waist could be. Okay, we're we'll trying something new today. So I was in Walgreens and I saw Shea Moisture Wig and Weave Tea Tree and Borax Seed Oil Bonding Glue with Aloe Vera. They always had the longest names for no reason. And I thought this would be much better than got to be glue, spray, and all that stuff. So it says keep your wig securely in place without worrying about your edges without bonding glue. This, this, what? This patent pending edge friendly formula enriched with tea tree oil, borax seed oil, and aloe vera gel is water based so it's gentle on the skin. This moisturizing glue helps you avoid the usual dryness and breakage experienced at the hairline caused by harsh adhesives. It goes on clear for a natural looking finish and leaves hair smelling fresh and clean. Suitable for poly hair pieces, full lace wigs, lace front wigs, and 360 wigs. Okay, so like I said, my issue is that my edges are literally right here. And it's not surpassing, you know, where the where I'm gonna lay this down at. So that could have been my fault, or maybe just like I usually have this issue with with these type of things. So let's open this first and foremost. Love that it has a seal. Hmm, does smell very fresh and clean. That's that's good. So we're gonna start off with one side. I've never done this before, so y'all, if you know what you're doing, do better than me. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, it's tacky. Now let's put another layer. So this ear tab is just gonna have to go over my ear, I guess. It's not sticking at all. Okay, let's put some more. Something doesn't seem right here. Y'all, this has to be the most work I've ever done in my life. <laughs> this is why I just stick to natural hair. Okay, um, I don't know. 
I'm going to go ahead and put some foundation. I had did that, but I don't know where it went. So, and I'm going to also take out, see, I'm thinking it's staying, but it's not. So, I don't know if it's me, my lack of technique, or just like Shea Moisture thing, but it's honestly not staying for me. All right, so since I have a widow's peak, I'm just going to use some edge control. I'm going to use the Cream of Nature Argan Oil one. Honestly, I now remember why I stopped wearing wigs. It's more work than it needs to be. And that's just my opinion. I have a widow's peak, so it's really hard for them to really look natural on me. And I find that I have a small, like, forehead. Regardless of what Bay thinks, he calls me a five head. I don't. Um, and my edges come farther out. So when it comes to to wigs, it never makes sense. It doesn't look good on me. So Okay, so I'm going to be using my Love Me Hair Hair Wax Stick. Just to get rid of some of the... Let me zoom out. Of the flyaways I'm getting. And I don't have that little comb thing just because I don't wear wigs enough to buy that. I have a wand curler. Ooh, that was stupid. This is how you know I don't do this much. I grab some black eyeliner and I just make this area a little bit darker. Because again, I have a widow's peak so I have to pretend like that's hair right there. Okay, so I put the scarf on just, I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> I think I remember why I don't wear wigs. As a natural I have several different reasons why one I have a widow's peak and I find it very hard to blend wigs that have you know a straight part or whatever because it doesn't look natural I also mentioned I have a smaller forehead and my edges come out you know more than others and so they always stick out and I feel like putting down laces is never a thing for me it never works so that's that um it's also super hot like it's still like snow on the ground here in new england but i'm hot and this is why i don't wear wigs like it's just too much for me um i don't know what density this is but i thought it would look more natural it actually does not i actually really don't like it i don't know what it's really doing i'm trying to make this work i almost just want to straighten my own hair as opposed to like trying to make this blend is it's sitting is adhesive on I don't know how y'all do it wearing wigs and putting adhesives and bonding glues on I don't I don't know I, I, I just I just don't know it's shedding that's also a thing um if you cut laces wrong or um too close sometimes that happens but e either way it's shedding it's also snagging on the ends I haven't gone anywhere it's only been 20 minutes this is a fairly short unit so for it to be snagging already that's annoying um i love that it has like a natural shine though so that's one good thing again this could have just been me um i wasn't gonna upload this video but i know a lot of people wanted me to do wig reviews and this is why i don't do them because of the reasons i just said uh, the shea moisture wig and weave bonding glue i can see this working it is super tacky i actually gotta really like take this off and wash my hair i don't know if this will be a alternative to the spray i'll be using i don't know i don't do this life i don't do wigs i just saw it picked it up i thought it was worth a try it's 6.3 fluid ounces for the price up here do i completely love it i do not like I said, if your hairline is different, I can see how this will melt into your lace, into your lace, into your skin. I can see it. It's not the wig. It's just me. It's just the way my hair is constructed. This was affordable. So, I mean, y'all are happy to check this out if you want to. I'm sorry this was a flop, but I had to show y'all. I wasn't going to upload it, but I did. So, I mean, what you gonna do? Sue me? After being honest, I'm being honest. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Non-wig review. Unless it's a headband wig. It is what it is. Peace.